Talk to uh, the superstar who is now the national heavyweight champion and the uh, super destroyer. And of course, gentlemen, still a lot of controversy surrounding... Well, there's uh, always controversy where I'm involved and now where this gentleman's involved. I hear Tommy Rich, he's crying and complaining. And they got uh, Big Red out here supposed to fabricate and develop some unknown proof and show it to all these individuals. And you got the big goof from Chicago out there, the policeman. All these guys get on and they say what they're going to do, but there's only one man here who can ever go out and say he's going to do something and do it. Now, I was supposed to wrestle here today, but I'm not going to wrestle. If you want to see me or these people want to see me, they're going to have to pay to see the champion wrestle. Well, Gordon, Gordon, oh. Gordon, I'm here today and I'm going to wrestle today because I have something to show these people out here. Being associated with the mass superstar is fine, and everything, but the people out here today are going to see the Super Destroyer as himself right now. Well, fair enough. Let's uh, watch the Super D then as he moves into the ring. He'll be going up against uh, Rick Benfield. And this is uh, one fall, a 10-minute time limit, waiting now for the bell. There's the bell. Benfield in the blue trunks, Super Destroyer, of course, of the uh, black uh, trunks and the uh, red mask with the stars on it. We're getting to see now why there was that great talk of uh, debate whether or not it's Super Destroyer was the superstar. If you'll notice the similarity in the trunks of the stars down the uh, left leg, the stars uh, on the mask. Benfield now with a good hammerlock on uh, Super Destroyer. Up into those ring ropes, and the referee calls for the break, and Super Destroyer, in a good clean break, steps back into the center of the ring, collar and elbow. Super Destroyer pulling Benfield back into the ring ropes. What a big, impressive man, this Super Destroyer is, and what a tag team they make because they have brawn and brain like we discussed before. Superstar and the Super Destroyer are both people who have gone to college, are both people who can bench press over 450, or both people who can think and fight at the same time. Makes them a deadly tag team combination. Of course, the Superstar himself, being champion, speaks for himself, doesn't he? It does indeed, and Super Destroyer taking uh, Benfield back in a bear hug up into the turnbuckle, crushing more air out of it. Now a boot to the side of the rib cage that again forces more air out of the uh, life support system along Rick Benfield. Benfield now doubled up, having a lot of trouble, a lot of uh, reddening of the upper body here as he has taken those percussions to the side uh, and to the back. Some people, you know, sometimes people wonder now, why would he put his throat on the rope and choke him? Now, what he's done here is he's kicked him in the ribs. Now, you notice, first of all, he kicked him high, bone to bone is what he and when he took the wind out of him, the next thing he did is kept the wind out of him by taking him to the rope because he knows he's got that fork on. Now, look at what he does. What is he doing? He's a He's, he's limiting the lungs to air, right? He, that's the best way to exhaust a man. Don't let him breathe. Very good. Benfield trying desperately to break his way out of this now. The uh, Super Destroyer drives a uh, knee lift into the midsection once again, continuing to deprive uh, Benfield of that much-needed oxygen. And, of course, as the oxygen supply is depleted to the brain, uh, the uh, mind begins to uh, function a little more slowly. And, obviously, if it functions more slowly, then... Uh, the muscles are going to respond a lot slower. Mr. Sol, very good. You notice how intensely the superstar is watching right now. You notice how every move he's making, that's what makes them such a fine combination here, is they're watching each other all the time, so they learn each other, they know each other just like it was themselves, and that's what's important in tag team combinations, and important just when you got someone watching your back. Referee checking with Benefield, but Benefield, a gritty competitor, hanging on. And he keeps the uh, oh. full bear hug on him now. Strong and enough. Enough. And he's a lot of trouble. Now he's got, notice the difference now in the hand situation. So much little technique. Now he's got the knuckles against the, fat, the, the spine, pushing on the lungs. Before he just had meat against meat. You don't want that. You want bone against bone is what you want. That's what wins wrestling matches. Benefield beginning to sag, and he is uh, having a lot of trouble trying to get that uh, much-needed oxygen. His muscles now failing to respond on uh, on his own uh, development of the match here, and consequently now the Super Destroyer driving him back toward the mat. Benefield finally driven to the mat. Benefield able to get his shoulder off before the count, however, keeps that shoulder off. Super Destroyer presses it advantage more, but now Benefield able to get that shoulder off. Super Destroyer down across the chest and the throat of Benefield. Moved off 
before the count. Moves off before the count of three, and again back into the bear hug. Very good. You see, concentrating on the same part of the body. Once you got something hurt, you stay with it. That's what makes me so good, is that I can stay with the same part, and I know to stay with the same part. And that's just what he's doing there. Notice again the knuckles, how he's got knuckles again. He realized himself. Am I going too much depth here, Mr. Soli? No, no, I think you're doing very well. well. Thank you very much. I know, you see, if the people can just spot the little bit of technique that's involved in professional wrestling, the little thing that he's doing right now is so important, it makes all the difference in the world. Superstar, of course, knows that. It makes, it makes him a champion. Of course, 280 pounds off, too, doesn't it, Mr. Zorro? Well, it does, along with the, uh, the consummate skill that he has. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, Super Destroyer continuing to move against Benfield and can't see him out. That upper body is totally reddened. Absolutely. You can even see in his face, and, and he's not even cutting any blood off of the face, but you can just see from the pressure. It's such a smart wrestler. Such, such good tactics here are involved that the people could just appreciate what he's doing. And it's hard work and hard labor to get this done. Super D asking uh, Benfield to concede, but uh, Benfield, as gritty a competitor as I've seen in a long time, he is not conceding, continues to... Uh, Press home, and of course, outside of camera range, the superstar continues to uh, look on, obviously with a great deal of interest. He and the Super Destroyer have uh, formed a pact or an allegiance, if you will, a series of headbutts now by the uh, Super Destroyer. And Benfield has just taken it. Ah, oh, put on the ropes. Calls for the break. Lucky, yes. What intensity the superstar is, is watching, too. You can see he's into every move. Right back to the same. Very good. Very strange. But you've got to give this man credit. I, I don't believe it. I, I would have thought he would have given up a long time ago. He's still fighting back, although the blows don't have much uh, much power behind him. Oh. Ooh, draw the knee to the midsection, and uh, it is uh, Benfield in a lot of trouble here. No, sir, up on that uh, top rope. And I've heard about this. And I've heard about this with the Super Destroyer. The Super the Superplex coming off that second rope. It is all over. All over for uh, uh, young Rick Benfield. And uh, the Super Destroyer coming outside the ring in a quick uh, conversation with the uh, Superstar. And... Uh, well, now, wait a minute. Why is the Super Destroyer going back in? The referee's still attending to Benfield. Ah, uh -uh, Super Destroyer now. And the referee warning Super Destroyer he could reverse this situation. Wait a second. Wait a minute. That bad Leroy Brown just hit the ring, and suddenly uh, the Super Destroyer and the Superstar decided to leave. And uh, I can certainly understand why.